awesome. Yeah, it's a great thing. You know, I mean, happy to, that you know I've had a chance to be part of that before, and, and you know it's a very special time of year. You know, you get two teams, you know, playing. Uh, you know, you 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 know, you played good hockey, and then but also on the other hand, you have to realize that you know the job's not done. You have you have to uh, still push through one obstacle, and you know. I think for me, I just, like I said, work hard when there's practice time and then take time off when there's days off. And that's, that's about the only thing you can do. Bruce was saying how much he loves the leadership group here. Uh, what, do you, what, what do you see about it, your part of it, about what this group does to lead the younger players to get them where they need to be? Uh, yeah, well, I think we have a, you know, a lot of veterans who have been in different situations. So, a lot, you know, some guys are more vocal sometimes. Sometimes some guys lead more by example. I think we have a great mix of that. So, you know, I think we're trying to do best we can throughout the past few years to kind of bring the young guys in and make them feel comfortable. And, you know, if they ever need any advice, make sure that they're not, like, hesitating to ask. You know, so I think that's been a big part of this whole, whole process. Last thing for me is that's a, it's 80 degrees for the first time in, in Boston. It's about time, right? Well, and how good is it that you're still playing at 80 degrees in Boston? Well, I I take 60 instead, just because you know it's not as humid at the rinks, you know. But whatever, it's 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 been a, it's been a tough spring weather-wise. So I'm just happy for the people of Boston that the sun's finally out, right? People can go golfing and enjoy their you know time. Swain's alluded to. I think it was roughly around the same amount of time you had off after the concussion. Getting back in with the yeah with the okay. bye week with the All Star weekend like yeah, that yeah. was roughly the same. I mean, does that help in some way? Just having something like that where you stopped and then just jumped back into it. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just that was it was awesome to go to you know away with the family and sit by the beach. You know, didn't do that this time, but you know, it's like yeah, I think it's like I said, it's only as tough as you make it for yourself. You know, you just kind of take time off and unwind and you know kind of refocus when there's time to refocus so but you played a lot of hockey you know in my career so I think that helps you kind of helps to stay even keel you know you know screw yourself mentally just overthinking everything and you just kind of let things play out and then you know when it's time to play hockey you play hockey and that's about it how much does just the fire around here just having gotten yeah, it's in 2013 yeah. you know within a you know, a few minutes of getting to a game seven, or at least pushing that. But right. Yeah. It's just you know you, you you do whatever you can to prepare and, and be ready to play, and then see where the chips fall. I think that's that was my mindset back then, and it's the same thing this way this year. I mean, you just try to control whatever you can control and, and, and make sure you're ready to play, and then hopefully as a team you'll play great hockey and win the ultimate prize. I think that's what we're focusing on.